Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Catch, and I'm back for the um, I Saw It in Somerset Studio Magazine little series that I have been doing. I will be continuing this series. Um, I have gotten my next magazine. My husband ordered me a subscription, so I will have enough for a year. Um, the one thing I will say is these are for three month period of time. And so I'm probably gonna do this one today and maybe at least one more out of this because we're gonna have a long time before we get another another one so today what we're going to do is this style of I don't know art <laughs> so she has on this particular one it looks to be fabric and uh, bits of lace and paper you know, some paper up here. And then these images, I think she printed. It's kind of confusing. I read it, but um, I read it a while ago, so I'm not totally sure. But I think she printed these on her printer. If you have the capability to do that, I would suggest doing that. I'm going to have to do it a little bit different um, just because I my printer will not do that. It will eat the fabric and the paper and everything else so but here's she did this cool one too where she took two different images two different photographs and put them together so that's kind of an interesting look and then she's stitched all around here there's different fabrics this looks to be like texture paste here and then she's got one little photograph here it's sort of like a whole collage and I'm not sure how I would use that there's some slow stitching here so if you slow stitch I like this there's like a hole naturally that has been um, has happened to that fabric there's more slow stitch over here different laces papers fabrics this is like on a ledger back here an old ledger there's some fabric and then this is paper around here she has the uh, image and then there's pieces of lace on the image which is also very interesting so there's just all different things in these collages and i just really like them so i'm gonna obviously do my own thing but with this style in mind and this isn't a style that i normally do you know me i don't do a ton of lace but see it's really cool because you can see she's done texture paste these are like little clips that they give you in the magazine at the end of each um artist's little article and uh, to show you kind of close-ups of what's on there. And this is cool. See, there's a little piece of fabric in there. There's stitching, hand stitching. I don't do a ton of hand stitching, but I might do a little bit to it once it's, once we get it together here. <laughs> so the first thing we're going to do is talk about these photographs. So I, this weekend, because I've never done this, did some of these and I can't remember where I got this idea and I'm so mad at myself I stink at that you guys but I'll try to figure out where I saw it but I know there's lots of people on YouTube that do um, image transfers is what you call it so if you type in image transfers into the search bar of YouTube um, you should be able to find lots of different ways of doing it so this is on actually um, hand towel like you just the cheapo white hand towels. The only thing I don't like because I don't have a laser printer, I have an inkjet. And so when you're taking off the back part of the paper, which I will show you, um, it gets this gray because the ink has also come off. So you can see it on this one too. But um, what I ended up doing for the one we're gonna use today is I tore it just right to the edges of the photograph. The other thing that you can do that I kind of played with is if you rub harder in some spots, you can rub away um, some of the uh, photograph edges or whatever. Just make sure on their faces, unless you want part of the face to not be seen very well, um, just don't rub them too hard on their faces. That's And I'll show you what I'm talking about in a minute. So um, what I have done is taken two images and the freebie that you'll get that's in the description box, it'll say freebie, you click on it, you will get a page of the ladies that I'm using. And there was one here, which I'll show you in a minute, but um, so it, it's a whole page of the ladies. So you'll have something and these are printed just on photocopy paper. 
So you don't need fancy paper. You don't need anything to do this technique, photocopy paper. And then, like I said, this is just dish towel. That's all it is. And I did iron it a bit, but I'm not huge into ironing. <laughs> I'll do it sometimes if I have to, but. So I'm gonna put these in the water. I have just this little pan of water right here. So they can soak, they have to soak for at least three minutes. And I'm gonna show you what I did to get them on here. I'm sure you can figure it out. I used matte medium, put it on the front of the photograph, put the photograph face down onto the fabric. And I'm gonna show you. Um, and then when it's dry, it has to be 100% dry. These have been sitting for a while. So I'm gonna now put them these in the water so that they can sit for at least three minutes so that then we can do the next step without uh, difficulties because if you don't let them sit in the water for at least three minutes well at least that's my understanding you're not gonna be able to get them off of there so that's the the best advice I have is to make sure you let them sit for three minutes okay so first before you put them in the water we need to find an image I thought I had one here I guess I put it somewhere I'm gonna cut another one out We'll do, let's do this lady. I put her originally on a different kind of printed fabric and it, like that worked fine. Um, a cotton fabric is really all you need. A muslin, a whatever works. I mean, you could try it on all different fabrics. I just think cottons are a little bit better. You're gonna get a better result for this style. Other styles, um, you know, you might want want a different type of fabric so you can try it on different ones i the i don't know a ton about this because i have only done the few that i showed you so let me see we're gonna get a different i want it just a little bit bigger i'll probably end up tearing off a lot of the border i don't know why i care but take your matte medium of some kind. I think you can probably use Mod Podge and all that too. I did heat set these pictures after I printed them. I used my heat tool, just the blower kind like this. And I heat them just to hopefully make that ink. I mean, you want it to come off on the fabric, but hopefully not get everywhere. I don't know that it'll make any difference, but use a decent amount of your matte medium, Mod Podge, uh, glue and water, whatever. I don't, I haven't tried glue and water. I'm not going to make any claims that that will work because it might be a little thin. Uh, and you might get some of, especially if you have an inkjet, you might get some of it rubbed off. So the biggest thing is you kind of want you kind of want to have a decent amount, but you want to make it as smooth as you possibly can. And a little bit of lines isn't going to make that big of a difference. I'll just get that wiped off. And I forgot to bring up water for that. And then you just take it and put it face down onto your fabric. And it doesn't matter which side of the fabric you use. Like I said, I'm using a dish towel, so I'm not using anything crazy. And then I'm rubbing it pretty good, but um, like I wouldn't take the scraper and rub it because you want that glue obviously in there. But I rub on the face and all, all over just to make sure, but especially the face because that's what I want the most is the face to be on there. And then you set it aside and make sure it's 100% dry before you stick it in the pan of water, okay? I don't know if it's been three minutes, but maybe what we'll do real quick is kind of show you what I'm going to use today. So what I have for my image is this old envelope. And what I loved about this is not necessarily that it's an envelope, but how falling apart it is. And it was a little bit wider, so I tore it to the size I wanted, and then I took the pieces that I tore off, and you can see it kind of did patchwork on the back so that some of the edges would stick out. And this is just my take on it. You can use whatever you have. You don't need to use what I'm using. This is just what I had. And then I have two book pages glued together. You could probably do it with one. At first, I thought I was just going to use the book page, but... Um, it was a little bit bigger than I wanted, so maybe I'll go ahead and glue that down. I'll set this aside. I want to make sure 
those photographs sit in there long enough because if I try to um, get the back off, I'm afraid it's not going to work very good. So I'm just going to put some glue on here. Thank you, Lorraine, for the envelope. These were her mom's. And when her mom passed, she gave all of those to me. Oh, I thought I glued those together. I guess I did not. <laughs> well, we just need one, so it's fine. And I did ink around the edge of that very, very lightly because I didn't want a ton of ink on it. Oh, no. Okay. Then I have some very, I mean, obviously I don't have the same things that she has. So I have this very old lace and this is so super duper thin. I don't know if it was a pillowcase or what it was, but it's got stains and stuff on it. I've had it for ages. I don't even remember where I got this one. Some antique thrift something. So I want that there. I'm gonna put this piece. I know you're probably all going, I wanna see how you do the photo. I swear I will show you. It's just, it. I have to make sure that it sits there long enough. and. I don't have, yeah, it probably has sat there long enough, but let's get this on. Because the photo's the big thing. The collaging and all that, we can usually figure out, right? <laughs> so I'm going to just put this, I want to see that the 24th of June. I think that's kind of neat. So this is just one of those um, Amazon, those, those thin papers that you can get from them that have either music or letters or whatever on them. They're just kind of a fun little thing to use. And then I have my photo and you can see this one, I completely tore around the edge, but I love the dish towel because it does the string thing really well. I want that on there. This is gonna go first though. I'm gonna put this on this side because we're just doing all kinds of laces and things, right? These. I think everything else goes on top. So then her about here. And I'm probably just gonna tack it down with my glue stick and then, actually I'm gonna move her down a little. And then um, I will take it to the sewing machine because this will end up being like a pocket on a page where you just either glue like that and have it probably as a side tuck would be best. And I may even glue it down to another piece of paper so that the, uh, I'm gonna put this music here so that it's the tag and whatever's not catching on everything. Yeah, these were super pretty and I looked a while to find a way to get the photograph onto fabric that I could do. Cause like I said, I can't print it. If you can print it, I would print it. Cause a lot of my color went away. I mean, these are black and white photos. Oh, and that's the other thing I was gonna tell you you want. You want kind of quite a bit of contrast. So I have ladies in white dresses and it's a darker background is what I looked for. Um, you know, that way you're, you've got some contrast because if everything's too dark or too light, you're not gonna see it when you do this process. And then we're gonna have this piece of lace down here and this piece of lace right here. And then I have, uh, I think this is some type of crochet doily. I'm just gonna put that piece up there and I stitched a button onto it. So I just did that ahead of time so you guys didn't have to watch me fumble around with that. So that'll go there and that, that will be my piece. But what I'm gonna do is show you guys how to do this now, since I'm pretty sure it's been long enough. So you just take it out of the water and you can see a lot of the color goes away. That's the problem. If you have a laser printer, it works better, but I don't. So I'm just using what I have. And I like it because it kind of gives you that real old ghosty sort of look. And then you just start rubbing. I kind of would start at the edge and some of that's lifting the... You want to leave, see? when I'm rolling that paper away, 
you can see the color under there is different. That's the ink that's left. So, and to try to avoid having quite so much of the dark coming out on the edges, I'm going to try not to push um, as much along the edges. I probably could have sat just a touch longer because I'm kind of lifting it. But you just want to be patient. You want to use a little pressure, but don't dig into it because you can see where I dug with my fingernail and then now there's stuff missing there. I don't really care about the edges. I, I In fact, I kind of like when it's not a perfect square over there because what's the point of that, right? I'm going to lift that off instead of continuing to roll it because I feel like that's what gives me that black around the edge. And it is kind of best if you can use the flat part of your finger. Um, I do use my fingernail to get it going in some spots, but the flat part just gives you a good... non-marring way to do this. Oh my goodness, I forgot to say hugs and blessings. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I forgot to ask you guys how you were doing. I forgot everything. I just jumped right in. So hugs and blessings to Gladys, Carol, and Monique. Thank you guys so much for your kind comments and for watching my channel. I really appreciate you guys. Welcome to new subscribers. Welcome back to those of you who've been with me for a day or years now. I really appreciate all of you. So thank you. I got excited. I just wanted to get started on this. I know this is a little bit time consuming, but obviously this is not something you're gonna make a million of these, but you know, you could make up a batch of them and, and then use them for different things for a while. This one is coming out a little bit different, and I'm wondering if it's almost better not to let it soak very long. So maybe stick right with that three minute mark, because see how that yellowy is kind of what I have on a lot of those, but then underneath, you can see the white a little bit more. And I'm trying not to go off the edge a whole bunch, because I'm trying not to get that black over there. But it definitely works even with the inkjet printer. So if you have an Epson or whatever inkjet, if you have a laser printer, that's the thing to use. But I don't. It is kind of scary around their face because you're like, I don't want to rub all of her face off, but I don't want the gunky stuff on there either. And you can take a cloth and rub a little bit too, but again, that scares me because I'm afraid I'm just going to rub off the whole thing. But I have done like this and just super lightly, especially on the face, just to roll away some of it without getting so heavy handed. You don't want to be super heavy handed. But you do, you do have to put some pressure on or it's not going to work. Take your time, is what I would say. I don't see a lot of it is going away. That one's a lot lighter, and I know the girl, she's a, a lot lighter because she's blonde and then she's wearing a white dress, so that could be part of it too. And then of course you have to let it dry entirely before you um, 
use it. And after it dries, you can come back and, you know, the little um, paper bits that are might still be lingering on there, you can get some of those off a little bit easier once it's dry without worrying about taking her whole face or something away. So you can see it's still there. This one's a lot different than the other ones I did. And it must be because it just shorter amount of time maybe. Because I use the same glue, same paper, same everything. I like to get those little rolls off as best I can, especially the face, just because it's distracting. They look like they have um, scars or something. So yeah, you just keep going as far as you want. And like I said, that one's a little bit lighter than the others, but it, it worked and I can go back and get off the rest of those little beads. Let's try the little one I did. Let's see how it comes out. I actually cut the bottom off of um, this picture because the original's a little bit longer. I just wanted a little one. This is a little harder because it's hard to hang on to. And this one I did right to the edges of the fabric, so I don't have to worry a whole lot about that. Oi! See there? That's not good. I just rubbed her hair off right there. So just be careful. And it'll, it'll probably happen. You'll probably rub something off at some point, but... I do like taking the edges off a little, like I said. I'm going to take off that piece because... Oh, see that one did the... Oh, it isn't gone. It just did the same thing that one did. I'm getting that. Yucky color on the edges. So yeah, I don't know. I guess I am rubbing a little more off. I guess you can choose how you want it to look. The last one just didn't do with this this way. It's so weird. Yeah, that one's not gonna work out good. So I guess what I would say is don't rub too hard because you're gonna rub away all the, all the color and you need some of it, right? Or you're not even gonna be able to tell what in the world it is. So that's kind of sad because I wanted to use that one on this. It's just very ghosty. There's almost nothing left. You can barely see. So, I guess you win some, you lose some. Just be careful with how hard you press. I did the other ones without that problem, so I'm not sure what the difference was today. But this one you can definitely see. I think a lot of this is that her, the whole picture is lighter than the pictures I used before. So, don't press too hard. <laughs> I know. Easier said than done sometimes, right? I'm gonna set this over here out of the way. So hopefully I don't spill it. I probably will, but at least it's just water. I'm gonna take this away and move these wet bits away. And I was gonna use the little one, but now I'm not. I'll have to try again with the little one and see if I can get it better. Oh, that's all those. 
Okay, I don't want to get stuff on that. So at least now you know how to do that. Not that I executed it perfectly, but it's all trial and error. I'm telling you, all these things are so ah, persnickety. So just, oh, well, I want it this direction. So I think basically what I'm going to do with this mostly is get the glue in the middle, kind of up the side here. Because I just, I just want to tack it down. Like I said, I'm probably going to stitch over it. And I know people are saying, why would you put the book page? You're not even going to see it. I know. <laughs> it's just part of the background. And you can see bits of it because you can see it over here. So you're going to see more of it than you think you are. And I just liked it back there. comes through these lace holes a little, so I want to dab it up a little. Okay. I mean, now you can definitely see it through there, but I'm trying to decide. I, you know, it's so hard for me. Hers were so beautiful and uh, white. I'm going with a little bit more of an ivory sort of a look. And I struggle. I just want to like do that a little bit. Like it feels undone to me for some reason. And I know it's a whole nother style and I just can't seem to get that one. Even though I love it, I see people do that really white, lacy and all that. I just can't. I feel like I'm not very good at it or something, I guess. So we're going to put this piece of lace, I want it kind of hanging off over here. Oh, you guys can see it will come in just a tiny bit more here. I don't want it to be like nosebleed, but I'm going to just put some glue here to tack it, like I said. I do like the stitching over here on that. I am going to glue down quite a bit. It does feel a bit papery. Once you do that process, the fabric sort of takes on the papery feel, which is interesting. But I definitely like it. And I'm glad I played with it because I think you could do all kinds of different things with that. Like there's one of those little rolled up bits. Just music from a music page. I think it's actually from a hymnal. I kind of like the way it hangs down a little bit. And then I have, I think this is tatting or meant to look like tatting. I don't, it's not real tatting. I think I bought it at Hobby Lobby or somewhere. Yeah, I want to be able to see that treble clef. If you know me, you know I love the treble clef. <laughs> don't know why, just do. I try to just go right along the edge. Like I said, I am going to stitch all around it, so I'm not super concerned with how well it's gonna stick at the moment. Just has to make it to the sewing machine. Okay. And then there's this little piece of paper right here calling me. I don't know. It just has numbers on it. But I like how she has those little bits that are about. So I think I might just put it right here. And then I have this super fine antique lace. Came off of a hanky. Which side, I wonder? Oh, this is the good, or you know, the useful side or whatever. 
what you call that. And this is off of, I think, a pillowcase. I kind of like this grungier side better. But of course, if you're doing this, you can do it the way, um, obviously, the original creator did because she went with more whites, white laces and things. So it's just personal preference. Whatever you like, do it, do it your way. That one's just going to go up there. This one I am going to use, I think, some tacky glue because of that button. Oh, actually, you know what I'm going to use? I'm going to use my matte medium. That will hold it well. And I'm sure I'll be able to grab through one of those edges or something. But with that button has some weight, and obviously I cannot stitch through that, so I just want to make sure it stays and doesn't fall off. Okay, I'm going to pause, let that dry, and stitch it, and then I'll come back so that you guys can see what it looks like all stitched. I'll be right back. Okay, I am back and I finished stitching around this. My sewing machine started doing weird stitching, but I kind of like it because it kind of gives me that uh, hand stitched thing. I don't know if my tension's off or what, I'll have to figure it out. It was fine here, didn't know. Anyway, um, yeah, just did, you know, like one little section of stitching right there, a little here, a little across to there. Went down both sides, a little here, all the way up this um, tatting. So yeah, just kind of to give it a little texture and interest. So that is what I have for this week's I Saw It in Somerset Studio magazine. Um, sorry these didn't turn out as well. I don't know what I did different. The only thing I can think of is I must have been pushing harder. So just uh, go lightly. Like, don't push super hard. I'm looking for my brain. The magazine. I don't know where I said it. Well, anyway, you guys know which magazine it is because I've showed it to you every week forever and I will have pictures on Instagram. So go ahead and check that out if you would like. I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend and I will see you again soon. Love ya. Bye.